Hello. So I'm back. Um, this is my first full day after using the ASUS transformer and uh, I charged it uh, fully like I said I was going to and I've actually been using it for an entire day now. Um, so I gave it a full charge. Um, you can see from the settings that I've been uh, on battery usage for one day 52 minutes and 45 seconds and the battery is at 17 percent right now so over a day uh, yesterday I used it for about eight hours straight uh, on battery before um, just you know leaving it for the night um, and I used it intermittently throughout the day today as well um, so you know regular usage I had it on um, the normal setting which is the highest uh, regular setting that you can leave it on um, and I've been adjusting the screen brightness to what I needed it to be um, for each occasion um, so it's been really enjoyable um, it automatically upgraded to ice cream sandwich out of the box so I this is my first tablet I haven't even seen what um, the honeycomb uh, operating system was like it just upgraded to ice cream sandwich I gave it permission to but um, that was pretty easy synced really easily with my email um, from Google so that was uh, pretty neat um, it also gave me access to the app store really quickly so I it's my first tablet but I've had an iPhone for about uh, two years now and I really wanted to get uh, something associated with uh, the Android market so this has been really great um, you get you know a whole bunch of games on there you have your Angry Birds <laughs> Angry Birds is like the typical testing uh, game for everything it seems. So, uh, see very responsive. Um, actually, if I want to go back to the menu, I'm up to level 9. I uh, can zoom out. That's how I like to play. Let me zoom out. Uh, no good. I can zoom in see what that's like it's uh, very responsive very just uh, enjoyable to work with um, am I gonna get him come on uh, I didn't get it but they are uh, I fail this one <laughs> but um, I'm gonna go back to the home screen. It's all very intuitive. I am um, gonna be using uh, a few of the PDF reading functions quite frequently. So um, went into that and uh, have a PDF that I've been working on. Um, they have uh, you know some functions that you can actually make uh, edits on the PDF that you're you're reading. So um, that's gonna come in really handy. Um, and the application that makes you, that allows you to go through the different programs that you've had to open is uh, really neat also. Um, so yeah, I've found out you know few minor things like uh, when I'm opening one application, the insignias down here might blink a little bit, um, and I don't know what that's about. I'm sure that's just some software issue. Uh, to get resolved later, but um, it's been really, really enjoyable to work with so far. Um, it's a very different experience than using the um, the just iPad, um, not iPad, the um, iPhone. But um, all in all, very enjoyable, um, and. Uh, I look forward to continuing my use with that. So, uh, yeah.
just wanted to show you that it started to give me the low battery signal at 15 percent so I'm gonna set it up to charge right now and um, yeah it's been doing really well on battery life um, so it has this neat graphic that shows you the rate of battery decline uh, I thought it was pretty cool so over the usage of the battery life it shows what it is and then it's it goes from green to orange and then the actual insignia uh, right here turns orange eventually to indicate that it needs to be recharged um, so that's what I'm gonna do and check it out uh, the in uh, menu just came on that said that I need to char start charging it so uh, there you have it at 14 percent that comes on thank you for watching and I'll see you next time so it you know turned on and uh, everything works great